Sea travel. Sea travel is a journey across the sea by a ship. A ship is a large boat. It can carry many people and things across the sea. Voyage is a large journey by ship or boat. Boat carry people across water. Boat is smaller than ship. Sail is a flat piece of fabric. With the help of wind, a sail drives a boat. A ferry is a large boat. It can carry a large number of people and cargo like cars, motorcycles, etc. A raft is a flat thing like a boat. The crew is a group of people who sail a boat or ship. An anchor is a heavy metal object. It is attached to a long chain. The anchor of a ship is dropped into the sea to hold the ship without moving. Harbor is an area where ships and boats halt. Any of the flows of a ship or a ferry is called deck. A cabin is a room in a ship or boat where people sleep while traveling. Because the sea is rough, the boat is rocking. When the ship reached the harbour, the sailor put the anchor of the ship. In the night, a fisherman's boat was able to find its way to the shore with the help of lighthouse. Mr. Money's family is going on a cruise in the backwaters of Cochin. Pirates stopped a ship in the Caribbean Sea and robbed the cargo from the ship. The sailor hoisted the sail on the pole when he set off in the sea. Passengers of the ship are sleeping in their cabins. The boatman is rowing with the oar. The ship is on a long voyage to Africa. Tell me, which is the next port where the ship will anchor? Travelling by car You can travel fast on road by a car. A car is a motor vehicle. You drive a car when you are in the driver's seat. One who drives the car is called a driver. Driver's seat is the front seat near the steering wheel. You make use of a round thing to turn the car to the right or left. This wheel is called steering wheel. Every car has a key. This key is to open the doors and to start the engine. Car is run by its engine. The engine of a car 
is filled by petrol or diesel. Petrol or diesel is called fuel. Fuel is a liquid. To fill up means filling up the fuel tank with petrol or diesel. Every car has four wheels. A car moves with the help of its wheels. Each wheel of a car is fitted with a rubber cover filled with air. This is called tyre. The metal cover over the car's engine is called bonnet. Usually, the bonnet will be in the front side of a car. Boot is the space at the back side of a car. You can keep your luggage in the boot of a car. When rain started, our driver switched on the windscreen wipers. Renuka loaded her baggage in the boot of her car. One who drives a car is a driver. There was a breakdown in our car while travelling to Chennai. A nail punctured the car tyre and it became a flat tyre. When you travel in a car, Please fasten your seat belt for safety. The car mechanic is opening the bonnet of the car to repair its engine. Shekhar asked Balaji for a lift in his car for going home from school. To change the flat tyre, the driver lifted the car with a jack. We parked our car in the car park and went for shopping. On the road A road is a flat surface on which vehicles travel. A street is a road including the platform or pavement. Pavement is a hard, flat surface for people to walk. Pavement will be on the sides of a road. The edge of a pavement is called curb. Street light is a powerful light fitted on the top of a tall post in a street. A bridge that you use to cross over a road is called footbridge. To cross is to walk from one side of a road to the other side. Crossing is the area marked on the road to cross safely. It will be marked with zebra lines. The low part of the roadside is called gutter. Gutter helps drain water. The place where two streets meet is called corner. A roundabout is a place where many roads meet. Vehicles will move around a circle at this place. Car, bus, or a truck is called a vehicle. Traffic is the movement of vehicles that use a road.
When the traffic light turned red, I stopped my motorcycle. The traffic on this road is very heavy. Mohan crossed the road at the crossing. Sanjay is a good boy. He does not walk on the road. He always walks on the pavement. They switch on the street lights by 6 o'clock in the evening. At the roundabout, you have to turn left to reach the bank. Vasant goes to school by school bus. Raja is riding on his bicycle. My father is transferred to Trichy. We are moving our household articles by a truck. Driving and Traffic Driving is to operate and control the direction and speed of a motor vehicle. Traffic is the movement of vehicles on the road. Bridge A raised structure that lets you travel from one side of a river, railway, road, etc. to the other. Junction A place where one road meets and joins another. Congestion a situation in which there are so many vehicles in an area that they cannot move quickly or easily. Overtake To go past another vehicle moving in the same direction. Cyclist A person who rides a bicycle. Rush hour A time of the day when the roads are very busy. Usually when people are travelling to or from work. Toll A sum of money that you have to pay to use some roads, bridges or tunnels. Shortcut A route that is shorter and quicker than the usual one. Vehicle A means of transport such as car, bus or track. Tunnel A long hole in the ground that lets you travel from one side of a river, hill, etc. to the other. You have to pay a toll to use the bridge. We drove around the ring road to avoid the congestion in the city. Cyclists have to obey the same rules as drivers. Jagan knew a shortcut that would save us at least 10 minutes.
the journey takes nearly twice as long during the rush hour. We can reach a place quicker by a vehicle than by walking. Ram asked Shyam to wait at the junction. A new bridge was constructed in the city. I like to travel under a tunnel. Do not try to overtake a speeding vehicle. Measurement By measurement, you can see how big or small, long or short a thing is. Just by looking at something, you may say it is huge. Is something very big? If something flat is very big, you say it is vast. Vast area, vast land are some examples. You can very exactly say how big or small something is by measurement. You can measure the length, breadth, depth, height and weight of anything. Is how wide something is. Another word for width is breadth. Length is how long something is. Height is how tall something is. Depth is how deep something is. Using a measuring tape, we can measure the width, length, height, and depth of anything. We use metric system for measurement. In metric system, we use units like meters and grams. Weight is how heavy something is. We use weighing scales to see the weight of something or someone. In metric unit, gram is the unit of weight. A kilogram is equal to 1000 grams. The space between two things or places is called distance. A meter is the unit of length or distance. A kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. You can see very small things using a microscope. Such a small thing is called minute. Average is the normal value between the highest and lowest values. The highest value is called the maximum. The lowest value is called minimum. When my brother drives our car, he drives at a maximum speed of 120 km per hour. Tulasi's average marks in the examination is 45%. Surya's weight is 50 kilograms. In the night, my dad observes the distant stars using telescope.
Taylor took measurement for stitching my pants. What is the height of Mount Everest? The length of the box is more than its width. With the help of a microscope, you can see very minute particles. Unit of weight is kilogram. A weighing scale is used to measure weight. Let's learn about housing. Housing Different kinds of houses and flats collectively means housing which gives the provision of accommodation. Apartment A set of rooms where someone lives forming a residence. Landlord A person who is the owner of a property, like land or house. Block A building containing a number of apartments. Lodgings A room or rooms in someone's house that you rent for a short time. Cottage A small house in the countryside. Rent To pay someone money so that you can live in a house, apartment, etc. that they own. Slum An area of a city where poor people live in housing that is in bad condition. Tenant A person who rents accommodation from a landlord or landlady. Villa a large house in the countryside or near the sea. Residence Living in a particular place or the building where someone lives. That colony has many blocks. My parents lived in lodgings until they purchased their own house. They passed a row of pretty little cottages as they entered the village. A house is a place of residence. Savita made friends with a girl who lived in the apartment above hers. My brother lives in a villa in the United States of America. The landlord of their apartment does not allow them to keep pets. The tenants moved out without paying their rent. We pay rent for the cottages we stay in. They live in two rooms in a small house in the slums.
Let's learn about money. Money. Currency in paper form or coins such as government and bank notes used as a medium of exchange. Check. A piece of printed paper on which you write the name of a person or company and the amount of money you want to pay them from your bank account. Change. Money in the form of coins to swap one form of currency to another. Debt. An amount of money that you owe to someone else. Currency. The money that is used in a particular country. Deposit. To put money into an account in the bank. Interest. Money that you have to pay for a loan from a bank. Save. To keep money for the future. To have a particular amount of money by not spending it or by buying something at a cheaper price. Withdraw. To take money out of an account. O. To pay someone a particular amount of money. For example, they have done some work for you and you give them money. Salary. Money paid every month to the employees for their work. How much do I owe you? He did not have enough change, so he paid with his credit card. My mother asked me to withdraw money from her account. You would save money if you cycled to school. It is better to avoid debt for a peaceful life. My grandmother deposited rupees 10,000 in her savings account. I used to issue check for payments. She earns a decent salary. Yen is the currency used in Japan. He pays the interest to the bank regularly. Will you come with me to a supermarket? Supermarket A large self-service shop selling foods and household goods. Barcode A set of black lines of different widths containing information about a product such as its price. Counter A place at a supermarket where you chose from a display of unwrapped food and a place where you need to pay the amount. Brand A product made by a particular company or the name on the packaging of the product. Canned food The food sold in sealed metal containers. Barcode scanner A device that puts the information from a barcode into a computer. Groceries Various items of food and household products 
sold in a supermarket packaging the wrapping or container in which you buy a product trolley a large container on wheels that you push around a supermarket and in which you put the things you want to buy label a piece of paper stuck to packaging which gives you information about the product inside special offer a chance to buy something at a reduced price I usually buy the supermarket's own brand. An assistant at the shop helped me pack my groceries into carrier bags. Ashwin read the label to find out how much fat there was in the peanut butter the shop offered a special offer for a few products bindu queued at the cash counter for paying the money The barcode scanner at the shop was not working properly. You can help the environment by recycling as much packaging as possible. People use a trolley inside a supermarket to gather things check for the barcode on all the products you buy canned food gives freshness to the product kept inside good people good people always do good things good people help others good people are liked by everyone to admire is to think and talk well about someone's good quality a very well behaved child is called an angel award is a prize given to someone for some great things done by the person a brave person is one who is not frightened by danger being brave is courage being brave is also called bravery good people are always considerate about others that is they are kind and understand others needs and feelings good people cooperate with others they work with others helpfully to be friendly means to talk to people nicely as if you are a friend someone is generous if the person gives a lot to others a person is said to be a good sport if the person is happy to help others if you are working hard you are hard working person Shalini is always polite and gives respect to elders. I don't believe Gopal. He is not trustworthy.
Ramji rescued a girl from fire accident and he was awarded by the President of India. Will you please help your younger brother to finish his homework? Ramachandran distributed free uniforms to poor students. He is a very generous person. Jay Shankar got top score in the match and he became the hero of the match. Our servant is very hard working. He works 12 hours a day. Balaji is getting an award this year as the best student. Police released Kandan because they found him to be innocent. My sister is a very brave person. She is not afraid of ghosts. Bad people. Bad people always do bad things. Bad people always trouble others. To blame is to say someone has done a mistake. To bully is to be cruel to someone who is weaker than you. Deliberately hurting others or animals is cruelty. To cheat is to win or gain something by approaching wrong methods. A person who is afraid of everything is called coward. One who breaks the law is a criminal. One is dishonest if the person cheats or steals. One who is foolish or stupid if they do things without using their brain or intelligence. You are greedy if you want too much for yourself. You are said to be impolite if you are rude. You are lazy if you do not feel like working or moving about. My sister is very greedy as she ate all the ice cream. The villain in the story tried to kill the hero. The character of villain is rude. Our class teacher punished Balu for his rude behavior with other students. Liar always tells lies and never speaks truth. Suhasini has some trouble with her scooter. Harani is so much coward 
that she won't go alone to the bathroom in the night. My mom blamed me, thinking that I have broken the jam bottle. Ramesh is a coward. He fears for everything. Banu is a lazy girl. She gets up in the morning only by 8 o'clock.